So recession is not just a state of mind, it is a measurable condition into which an economy falls. And here's how it has always been defined by economists. A recession is two consecutive quarters of declining real GDP. In the first quarter of this year, GDP went down. This week, second quarter GDP numbers will be released. What will they tell us? Well, here's a hint. The White House just released a statement, quote, while some maintain that two consecutive quarters of falling GDP constitute a recession, that is neither the official definition nor the way economists evaluate the state of the business cycle. Really? Okay. Well, we thought we would talk to someone who has seen a lot of business cycles, been in business. Vivek Ramaswamy is executive chairman and co-founder of Strive Asset Management, which is a fascinating new company. He joins us tonight. Uh, Vic, thanks so much for coming on. So you're in business. Um, what do you think of this new definition of a recession? Look, it's like George Orwell who said it best, right? The best way to control a society is to control its language first. That's right. And just like diversity is conformity, inclusion is exclusion, war is peace, now apparently a recession is something other than two consecutive quarters of GDP decline. Now, the thing I'll tell you, Tucker, is most sophisticated investors in the market have already quietly accepted the fact that we are in a recession, regardless of what this administration says. Investors pay attention to companies' earnings. Just look at Walmart's disastrous report earlier today where they slashed their profit expectations for the future. So investors aren't really going to pay attention to what the administration says. They know what's really going on. But the thing to pay attention to here is that it's not just the recession that matters. We are also facing rampant 9-plus percent inflation. And in the market, you can either have recession without inflation. You could, in principle, have 9-plus percent inflation without a recession. It's a double whammy for us right now. We're facing both. And meanwhile, the people in charge of this administration are focusing on changing the language. That tells you a bit about where their priorities are. So the Walmart statement suggested, they, they said recession is the reason that their earnings will be short, but they suggested that maybe real recession is higher than 9%. What do you think that the real, the actual experienced number is for people? Well, I, I, think, I think if you look at who the everyday customer is at Walmart relative to a range of other businesses that may be more insulated by other forms of government subsidy or protection, this is where the everyday American shops, right? So I think that you have to look as a, as a sophisticated market observer, you got to look at where the real harbingers are and where the real proxies are for the experience of the everyday American. And I think that the real experience of inflation combined with inflation that's driven by actually high energy prices in this country suggests that yeah. actually the experience of most Americans is even worse than the numbers suggest. But this yes. administration is just fixated on these Band-Aid solutions like focusing on the language we use to describe it rather than addressing the problem. Of course. Vivek Ramaswamy, a man who is addressing problems. We will see you again. Uh, appreciate your coming on tonight. Thank you. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens. Stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.